Hello everyone. In previous video, we learned how to do the setup for Chrome and then open the Chrome browser and reach out to a web page from where we would like to do this scrapping, right? So in the previous video, we tried to do this thing with Amazon and when you execute this part, it opens up the Amazon web page, okay? Now in this video, what we're gonna learn is, in this video, we will see how to reach out to this particular search box, click this button, you know, type something into the search box, remove the remove whatever you have written and write it another item, move forward, move backward, and similar things we will understand over here. So let's start with this, because we are already cleared on this part, so before I start showing you how to, you know, reach out to the search box, how to access the search box, before that I will just show you some basic things, right? So those basic things are, like here I have already created the driver object. If you have not seen the previous video, you can just follow this thing, it's, it's very simple, okay? So here what we can do is, I will just do driver dot, I can simply say, let's say, you know, let me first set up this window, okay? I will just do a setup on this window and this like this so that we will be able to see the things effect side by side whatever we are doing over here we will be able to see the things over here okay so for example you can see that I have resized this window now if you want to you know maximize this right how can you maximize that so for that what you can do is driver dot maximize maximize window you can use this particular function okay and when you execute that like you can see the window is maximized now if you want to minimize that you can do that as well you see all that you need to do is say driver dot minimize underscore window here we got this suggestion right and just hit that now you see that is minimized on the taskbar now if you want to maximize that again you can maximize that again just type this thing over here and again run this it is maximized now i want to resize it okay i want to just bring it in the previous form format right so what i can do is i can just say driver dot set size set size set window size set window size if you see here we got this suggestion now you just need to provide the height and width over here so let's say width i want to say 1000 okay width is 1000 and height let's say okay no let's say width is 700 okay let me say width is 700 and height is let's say 1000 okay now let's run this let's see how does it looks okay now when you execute this this is almost the same thing okay it's just that it is on the left side and we can just click over here it is situated on this side now you just saw how did we uh, you know deal with the uh, elements in a web browser so the, this was dealing with these things now we will start with you know reaching out to this search box how can we do that so for that what we can do is we will just say driver dot we will use one function which is called find element so there are two functions similar one is find elements and one is element element is to find the single object elements is to find the similar object multiple times okay now in this how do we want to do the find um, i mean how do we want to uh, what is it that we want to find so these are the three th uh, it takes two arguments if you see over here by argument and value argument before providing the by uh, argument you would require to import this first so how can we import that that we can do from selenium and uh, this is selenium oops please bear with the spelling error it is happening because of the autocomplete thing selenium dot web driver and here we got the web driver as well dot common and then again dot it's so much of dot right please you gotta leave with this we need to leave with this again okay? 
and then we're gonna say import by right so this is the one thing the other thing i would also import that is key module okay so i will just say over here keys and out of that i will import key okay so these two things you we need to import over here before we start accessing the elements now those two are imported over here right we can you can check the log just right over here oops there seem to be some error it says key cannot uh, cannot import name key looks like there is some problem just let me check this out over here and i will say key is it giving me some suggestion yeah here it is it should import is it again an error let me try this whole thing it sometimes keep uh, behaves funny i'll just fix all right so it won't simply be key rather it will be keys okay now it has to be keys all right now it is imported and when we come down over here we need to create another uh, you know object for this so here we are doing driver dot find element and to find what sort of element is this just click in this search box and right click on that go to inspect when you go over here so this is the part which is selecting the search box which is for search box okay now what we can do is let's just or just this little bit okay now we again need to come into the search box and again click on inspect huh. this is the exact part which is working for the search box now just click on this part go to copy and choose copy x path and to validate this what we can do is just click on this and then press ctrl f here you got that find box and put whatever you copied over here so if, when you put that it is selecting exactly the string which we require right so that's it we're gonna just copy this over here and we will come back to our code window okay just right over here and in this we're gonna say by dot x path because we just took x path we want to find the element basis on x path so this is the first argument we are done providing over here in the second argument we're going to use single quotation and in that we're going to just put whatever we just copied now this is uh, th this object is created let's store this in a variable called search box because this is the search box which we have created you can name it whatever you want right so this is the search box which is done right now search box is created what next in the search box next thing which we need to do is we need to put some value inside that okay so to put that value what we can do is we can just say search search box dot send keys and in that what we can do is we can put the string whatever we want to search on amazon before that let me just close this particular part and here is the search box right and here i'm just going to write hp laptops right so this is what i just want to write over here and now i will just execute this let's see what happens so when i execute this you see it is written in the search box if you just notice this now this is written next job is to click on this search uh, search button okay so how can we do that again we're gonna right click on this and go to next uh, sorry inspect let me just expand this little bit over here and then again we will have to do this right click and click on inspect here we got that again right click and go to copy and copy x path right just to validate that what we're going to do is press ctrl f put it over here and you see it is selecting this particular item and this here search box is also getting search button is also getting selected search icon okay so we are uh, we have copied the correct string okay now we will just close this and we will reshape this again come back over here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say driver again we will say find element sorry element 
all right and in that by again we are going to do this search x path by x path okay and in here we will put that value whatever we just copied over here now this is something which will uh, this will select this search icon again after selecting that we also need to click on that so what we need to say is click this one click we're gonna say click on this okay now when you run this let me expand this to show it to you completely okay now if you see over here this is the syntax which we have written okay now again i will bring this in the previous position or let me do the adjustment of this okay and this one will also be adjusted all right now just notice over here yet the we don't see any hp laptop the moment you just run this you want to see the hp laptops over here well now you can see so many hp laptops are available over here right just scroll it down you see all these hp laptops so this is how you can open amazon browser and access to the search box and in that you can put this string whatever you want to search now what if we want to remove hp laptop and we want to search for another item so for that again you need to repeat all these things right so what i'll do is i'll just copy this and paste it over here and i will just arrange this little bit but before this for first thing what we're gonna do is remember three things we need to do first first access the search box then put your string and then click that string so uh, click the search icon okay so this time we already have hp laptops written into that so first we need to clear that whatever is written into it right so what we're gonna say is search box dot clear you see now if i run this string it will select the search box when i run this one it will clear whatever is written into that and when i click this one it will write another string let's say we this time we want to search dell laptops and when we click this one when we execute this line it will click the search button okay now let's run this i'm going to run this all together and then you will be able to see what happens you see now this time we have dell laptops searched over here and you can see over here we have all the items right here okay so you can repeat the same thing as many times as you want just don't forget to use clear function before the before the send keys string okay now this is what we saw how to search the items now there is there could be certain scenario let's say again we want to go back and see the hp laptop so for that what you can do is you can say driver dot back function you can use and just run this particular now if you will see here again we got the hp laptop now after seeing this hp laptop again what we want is again we want to go back to the i mean go forward and check out this uh, dell laptop so what we can do is we can use driver dot forward let's see if we have that option yeah we have that function so select that and run this so again we got the dell laptops so this is how we can access the different elements in web browser now you must have noticed couple of things one is find element function and then the other one is x path how does it work right what how do we create a x path how do we uh, how do we understand that um, uh, i mean what does this refers to uh, the way we understood html tags in the web scrapping with beautiful soap so how can we make this kind of a string ourselves so for that we would require to understand the x path and we also need to know how does find element works when to use find elements how to use that all these things we will be learning in the upcoming videos for now this is it i would say just practice this if you practice this you would be able to make some more invention and you would be able to do some more things practice it explore it let me know in the comment section your experience and until then happy learning wish you very all the best